Sonnery was, was launched uh, back in, in Wexford in the southeast of Ireland back in February 2009 and we're a truly international business with regional offices in London, Paris, Singapore and Sydney and we are an Irish company but over 90% of our business is international. The customers we, we work with are typically larger clients and that have an ongoing requirement for recruitment. The Sonru is an automated video interview and that replaces the traditional telephone interview or first interview that um, hiring companies would have with a candidate. Um, we give the interviewers the ability to just type in questions that they want candidates to answer, give them a, a certain amount of time to read each question and a certain amount of time to answer each question. Then they, they select the closing date that the candidates will have to complete their interview. Something I get asked the whole time is where does the name Sonnery come from? Uh, and it comes from an Irish phrase, Bila Sonnery, which means to stand out. That name was actually developed in a brainstorming session that we carry out at South East Bic. So we spent an hour or two uh, playing around with different ideas that we had as to you know, what, what, what did we associate with the business and what we were trying to do with the product. And one of the things we, we really focused in on was that we were helping candidates to stand out. And we were translating that, those words into different languages and that happened here in, in South East Bay. So in 2008 I met with South East Bay. Um, and originally it was what I really was looking for was to find a sounding board that I could trust. Within the South East Big team there was a broad spectrum of experience, whether it was marketing, whether it was finance. I found that the advice I got at the time was, was excellent. I could very quickly set up a meeting uh, with the team at South East Big if I had a particular issue that I wanted to discuss. The advice I'd give to an entrepreneur starting out today is that it's not easy to create a new product or service. I think the key thing to try and focus on is to deliver a product or service that once people begin using it, they can no longer live without it.